Hi everyone, Shoman Chin here and today I'm here to talk about the Snapdragon X Elite. More specifically, this laptop model is the uh, Asus VivoBook S15 with the Snapdragon X Elite. And this is uh, for those Malaysian viewers, this is one that has been advertised that's coming to Malaysia. And I did a review, or not really a review, uh, you know, my impressions of the Snapdragon X Elite processors that came out yesterday. And I, my video got like a thousand views overnight. So Microsoft is doing a really good job at promoting it. So both Microsoft and Qualcomm, you know, you know people are like saying, oh, Microsoft did like Windows on ARM before, it didn't work out. So why are they trying to do this again? But you know, it's all about the hype and getting people interested and people are interested uh, judging from the responses online. So let's just talk about this VivoBook S15 which is probably one of the first that's going to be available everywhere. And this is by Dave2D. So uh, have a listen. I, would be, I just expect developers to get on board with this very soon. You can just tell that there's a much stronger push to this new ARM ecosystem than there ever has been when it comes to Windows. Now, in terms of graphics, the raw capabilities of the onboard GPU are decent. It depends on the benchmark you throw at it. But at the time of shooting this, there aren't a lot of native ARM apps that really lean on the GPU. Photoshop from Adobe can, and that's been updated to natively run on ARM. And the performance is pretty much on par with what we've seen from x86 chips. Now, the other fairly popular Adobe app, Premiere, which is used for video editing, is only available as an x86 app currently. They are working on an ARM version, but even in emulation mode, and this is the thing that blew me away, it is completely usable on the VivoBook S15. So, so while I was citing more to the fact that it sucks yesterday from uh, one of the user's perspective, but Dave2D here is saying that it's good because even with Microsoft Prism emulation mode, it performs rather well. So, yeah, if you are into um, you know apps that are or applications that are not using so much power, you're not like a gamer, then I'm very sure that this Snapdragon X Elite is not going to disappoint you. So let's just keep ahead and uh, see what he says about the battery power, I guess. And let's see at five. Okay, I think around here. Ah, uh, advertisements again. Okay, we just have a quick look. For life that Apple has going on for their MacBooks, but because the VivoBook has a different sized battery, it's difficult to compare it directly to that. But just in general, the battery life with this new chip, especially on the S15, is like way better than what we've seen in the past. The other thing is sleep. So typically, when it comes to Windows laptops and you put them to sleep, it's very common for batteries to continue to drain even when the device is supposed to be asleep. But on this new Snapdragon X Elite chip, I saw 2%, sometimes just 1% battery drain overnight, which is just the way that battery... Yeah, so battery performance seemed to be good. Although yesterday, uh, the person who reviewed it said it wasn't good, but it only became good after some updates. So the fact that uh, Dave2D has tested it and seems to be working, so that's a good thing. And let's have a look at uh, this S15, this VivoBook S15 in particular. 86 laptop right now for this kind of pricing. So this is a 1299 machine, you get 16 gigs of RAM, it is baked on boards, you can't upgrade that. We also get one terabyte of storage that is readily upgradable because you have full access to the internals. Uh, and also, you get an amazing selection of ports. And on a device of this caliber, you don't expect ports like this. So you get two USB-A, two USB-C, uh, HDMI, micro SD, and it's just like such a solid overall system. And then the keyboard. So this keyboard, I do like the way that the keyboard types. I'm pretty fast on it. And you get a number pad on the right. It's a narrow one, but you do get it. So if you guys are looking for a good computer that can rival the MacBook, then I would suggest this computer because it has uh, the laptop is great. Um, it has a numpad, right? A full numpad. You can play games on it, but obviously this is the Snapdragon X Elite. You're gonna play most of the games in emulation mode. Uh, it's still not bad. And also the fact that you cannot upgrade the RAM because it's soldered in, but you can still upgrade the SSD. So 
yeah totally up to you guys uh, whether you would go for something like this but I think Asus has done a good job but for me uh, personally the only problem I see uh, is that there is no uh, 5G modem and 5G antennas and they need to build that in and only Lenovo has that so I'm considering that and uh, yeah let's listen to the final I'd love to talk about it it's really cool stuff but it's not ready yet that'll be a future video but just based on the merits of the hardware alone and what this chip is capable of I really think these new chips and the S15 are something special okay hope you guys enjoy okay so Dave2D thinks it's something special the only problem is Windows uh, Copilot Plus with the recall feature and uh, the live caption features are not available yet it's going to come out soon in the update uh, Microsoft made a big deal of recall but then it became a security issue and Apple is focusing more on the security on having uh, AI just on a device so Microsoft is losing out here you know, by the fact that a lot of people are complaining that it's not secure with Microsoft and they're trying to add encryption and stuff but I think the damage is already done uh, especially if branding wise when you portray yourself as not being secure and people want to jump to Linux on Snapdragon X Elite that's very bad from Microsoft but for me I still do trust Microsoft I still do trust the x86 platform uh, by Intel so I might be waiting for Luna Lake before upgrading but I'll see about a 5G because the thing with the Snapdragon X Elite is that it has a 5G modem baked in it's just that most of these laptops are not using this feature but for me I think it's one of the important features that I think it's important because um, you know I have my sim card on my phone right now imagine I can put it into the laptop and uh, I can use my laptop like a phone since I seldom make voice calls anyway I'm more a texting person so imagine that and that's something I look forward to and I'll let you guys know if uh, I do buy a laptop like that so if you like content like this please do subscribe and give me a thumbs up click that notification bell and before I go I'm going to show you guys the uh, Kaiser Beyond knife that I got from Thomas Tools and Thomas Tools uh, basically is giving you 5% off with my discount code Sherman Chin and I get something out of that so you help me as well so thank you so much guys I'll see you in the next one take care now bye